Hello everyone, the footage that you are looking at now is being recorded through an external capture card from RGB Link. It is the MSP33 One U capture card, and I've also put another camera for you to see it here. So the footage is being recorded in 4K 60 Hz end to end. So I connected my Sony zv 10 camera with HDMI output set to 4K 60 Hz, and also in OBS. I put that the input is 4K60 and also the recording is 4K60. So this is for you to see the quality of this capture card. In this video, I'll be testing it also in gaming and also I'm going to show you what are the best settings that you can put in OBS so to get the most out of this capture card. So let me show you first what comes in the box and then I'm going to talk about its specifications, its ports and then I'll be testing it. Let's open the box. Wow, the card's quality is really amazing. It looks like it was carved from one piece of metal. This is everything you get in the box. You have the user manual, USB-C to USB-A, and at the same time, USB-C to USB-C, very good quality cable, and the RGB link capture card. Let me tell you now about the ports and the specifications of this capture card. So you have here the input ports. You have HDMI 2.0 and also 3.5 millimeter input jack and it is HDCP 3.0. The maximum input, as I said, is 4K 60 Hz, and it can go up to 240 Hz in 2K. And of course, everything that is below 2K also works in this capture card. Now, this is the output here. You have HDMI 2.02 and 3.5 millimeter output audio if you want to. Of course, also, you always have the audio with the HDMI in case the input had audio also. And this is 3.2 USB-C port. And in the front of the capture card, you have this LED strip. So it lights up depending on the state of the capture card. For instance, if you're capturing with it, it will be green. If there is no input, it will be red and so on. And at the back of the capture card, you have this thread here, a quarter inch thread to put it on a tripod if you need to. As I mentioned in the unboxing, this capture card is made all of metal and it doesn't heat up even after hours of use in 4K and believe me I tested it and it weighs also 322 grams which also shows that it is really very well built let me show you now how to add the RGB link capture card in OBS and most importantly how to set it up to give you the best resolution so under scenes click on the plus sign and let's name the scene RGB link and then click OK. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And under sources here, click on plus and you need to choose video capture device and you need to create a new one. So we're going to call it MSP 331U and then click on OK. And here, look, it detected it automatically. In case it didn't detect it, you can go to device and then under device, you choose RGB link, this one HDMI 2.0 4K plus capture. And now let me show you the best settings for this. So under resolution, uh, remove device default and click on custom. And when you click on custom under resolution, choose 4K, which is 3840 times 2160. And for frames per second, put it on 60 if you want it on 60. Otherwise, choose another frame per second. It's always better to match the frames per second to the output that you're capturing. So here I am outputting 60 on my Sony zv 10 And the most important setting in all this here is the color range. So you need to remove it from default and put it on limited. And notice how the picture is going to change. It's going to become crisper. So see, when I put it on limited, the contrast are better and the image became crisper. And this is the important setting that I wanted to show you. So now click on OK. Now the last setting I want to show you so that to make sure that you're capturing in 4K, you need to click on settings here. And under settings, you go to video. And under video, make sure that the base is 4K and that the output is 4K and the FPS is 60 and then click on OK. So that is it for the configuration of this card in OBS. So now I connected my Sun's PC to the capture card, and on my right you see that the screen, this is a pass-through screen, and I'm capturing using OBS. And the purpose of this test is to show you that there is no lag when you play and when you capture the game with this capture card. 
So by the way, I'm not a good player in this. It's just for the purpose of this video. And you saw that the performance of this capture card is really good in game. Now let me tell you what I like and what I don't like in this capture card. I'm gonna start with the likes. I like the fact that it is really very well made and it's made all of metal and it doesn't heat up at all. And also I like the fact that it can capture in 4K 60 Hz and also it can pass through in 4K 60 Hz without any lag whatsoever. Now what I don't like about it is first that when I connected it to some USB ports in my PC it didn't work. So it is really very sensitive when it comes to USB ports. I noticed that when I connected it to very fast USB ports, it didn't work. So I connected it to USB 3.1 and it worked flawlessly. The second thing that I don't like about it is that it is a little bit more expensive than other similar capture cards. So in my opinion, it would be a good deal if you can find it on a discount. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I would gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you, and this will support my channel. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.